the Eastern Polesia. It is a unique land with peculiar material and spiritual culture and rich history. Different forms of traditional art, culture and spiritual heritage of Eastern Slavs are represented here in the fullest form. Mythological beliefs and samples of the ancient calendar agricultural and family magic keep their sense and still remain a part of life of this region's population. Calendar rites and family rites folklore are the most ancient historic stylistic layers, which exist together with outright song lyrics, small prose works, and folk choreographic art. Here, as nowhere else in Slavic world, unique samples of magic ceremonies and peculiar early forms of folk singing have been preserved untouched. The Eastern Polesia is a center of cultural East Slavic background and the region of intensive mutual ethnic influences and connections. The rich oral and intangible heritage of the Eastern Polesia was formed in conditions of historical mutual influence of Slavic folks. Today, it is the heritage of the mankind. Calendarite folklore plays an important role in the system of traditional art culture of the Eastern Polesia. Peculiar beliefs of Polishuks about their place in the world, the character of the society, organization and close links to the nature are reflected in the ancient song genres of the agricultural circle. This circle exists in the context of seasonal holidays, rites and ceremonies. Holidays of calling spring are based on the topic of nature awakening after continuous winter period. This holiday gives a start to numerous spring rites and ceremonies in which all people of a village take part. A rite system and poetry of spring holidays are based on a farmer's wish to live in harmony with nature. This success also determines the Polesia family welfare. Among great amount of ancient rites, there's one called Ivan Kupala Fest. It symbolizes the bloom of nature. It was believed to be purifying and healing. Ceremonial Kupala fire symbolizes an ancient cult of the sun. Kupala Fest is followed by the Preharvest Fest, Zajinki. Then, after gathering in the harvest, follows the Harvest Fest, Dajinki. These fests were celebrated with folk rites, ceremonies and songs. A unique poetry and rites with mythological ancient roots were built up. Time passed and numerous autumn rites involved people into action. Fireplace wedding is one of the common rites of Eastern Polesia people. This pagan rite is very peculiar for this region. It precedes the sowing of the field. In all forms of calendar rites, a great role is played by legends, magic actions and ceremonies, the song and choreographic heritage. All these shows ethnic self-consciousness of the Eastern Polesia people and their harmonic link to the world. Among different rites and ceremonial actions, a special place in people's lives is taken by family rites folklore. A great difference between rites and ceremonies in different places shows intensive mutual influences and links. A rite of washing hands, slivke, helps women to feel the support of relatives and neighbors. 
Giving presents to a newly born and taking care of his or her mother symbolizes the help to them. All rites combine mythological and magic tokens, ceremonies and of course songs and choreographic creative work. Wedding rites are singled out as a special group of rites and ceremonies of family relationships. As in this rite called recalls, Perezve, people invite new relatives in order to talk to them, to strengthen the relationships or to get new acquaintances. So there is a special oral and song choreographic folklore. Each village has its own one. Family rites are only a small part of the most unique and peculiar ones. Non-rite traditions also exist among a great genre variety of peculiar folklore of the Eastern Palesi people. They are a send-off of a young man to the army or to a university, buying a house, changing a place of living. Every important life situation was full of different ceremonies, songs and dances of people of this region. The riches of song traditions go into the depths of centuries. A lot of villages and small towns support and save these marvelous samples of folk creative work. Many of them are real diamonds of a song singing art. Folk choreographic art of people of the Eastern Palesia still keeps its original character. It is passed from one generation to another through a great amount of rite fests and ceremonial actions. The more specific attitude to this art appears in succession of choreographic traditions. Eastern Palesia villages still keep priceless traditions of folk dance of this region of the Eastern Europe. A lot of different rites and ceremonial actions are aimed at the security from evil power and natural calamities. These rites are arrow funeral, fireplace wedding and especially plowing around the village. In the beginning, women agreed to weave a new towel. During its production, women used different magic words and ceremonies in order to protect themselves and their neighbors from evil power and bad people, calling for help of lights, decorating horse and a plow with flowers, singing right songs near an icon. <laughs> then they decorate a cross with a new weaved towel. A man on a decorated horse with plow should dig around the village in order to protect it from all diseases, floods, fires and all bad and evil. Cultural space of the Eastern Palestine is a unique phenomenon in modern world civilization. But the effect of modern aggressive urban world influences negatively on this world of ancient culture in the center of Europe. A lot of ways of life of the Eastern Palestine can still exist, but there is a great threat to their disappearance because of some negative reasons. The most dangerous factor appears to be the results of the Chernobyl disaster. Are there any ways of preserving the cultural space? First of all, it is necessary to find out all the information and save on a digital format together with gathered ethnographic material. It is necessary to write down the disappearing types of folk creative work to save information about them for all interested in this people. It will be impossible to do without the help of all the world community. Other way to say farewell to one more diamond of the spiritual culture of the mankind.